Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is the Credible Rising Mustard. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, baking soda, teaspoon, cup, and a stir stick. Start off this experiment, you take your cup, grab some mustard, and you're gonna fill it up just a tad towards the bottom. It doesn't matter how much you put in, uh, just get a good, good, you know, portion like this uh, as there's no exact amount of mustard um, you're going to put that in there and once you get to the right amount uh, you can level it out by giving the cup a little shake it'll level it out there and then take your t one teaspoon um, of baking soda and put it in and right when you put it in you're going to want to stir it really quick so i got the uh, one teaspoon in and a stir stick of the other hand stir it and there is a reaction so pretty cool. Uh, you just got mustard and it's reacting to the baking soda. You can uh, put a little bit more mustard in to see if uh, it's going to go over the cup. You can always put a pot below it or a pan if you're worried that it's going to go everywhere. Um, but uh, it's going to continue to fizz as you can see on the top. And then when you put your stir stick in, it kind of just takes it all away and brings it back down. You can put more baking soda in to see if it's going to continue to react and add a little bit more so this time we're going to try it with ketchup um, so you got to make a prediction what do you think is going to happen we're going to put ketchup in we're going to take one teaspoon again of the um, baking soda and then we are going to quickly stir it and see um, observe what happens so we'll give it a stir and let's see what happens pull it out and it's doing the same as the mustard so it's uh starting to fizz and come up not as much as the mustard um but it is moving up uh on the cup it's a little lightened the uh the color of the ketchup a little bit too where the mustard didn't seem like it lightened up but uh and it did not go as high so we're gonna do the same thing with mayonnaise this time uh, it's got the ingredients of vinegar inside it and we'll see what happens uh when we put the mayonnaise in and then we're going to take uh, one teaspoon of uh, baking soda and we're going to add that to the mayonnaise. The last one, ketchup and mustard, both have vinegar as mayonnaise does. Let's see what happens. And we give it a stir and it does not seem like anything's happening, but we still got vinegar in the mayonnaise. So something else must be canceling it out. I'm going to do a, let's do it another teaspoon of baking soda maybe that'll kick it off so uh, we'll put one more teaspoon of baking soda in there maybe we need a little bit more kickstart uh, put that in we'll give it a stir again and uh, it looks like uh, mayonnaise is not going to have a reaction it's not going to well that's interesting I'm going to do it with relish this time it does have vinegar in the ingredients uh, but I'm also going to explain the science behind it so the reason the ketchup and the mustard rose in dramatic fashion is was due to the presence of vinegar which uh, here relish and mayonnaise had too but the reaction between the vinegar and the baking soda will produce carbon dioxide gas right so we all seen that before in other um, experiments uh, which causes the mustard and the ketchup to rise and as we see here the relish but the mayonnaise did not rise right so the reaction will continue until all the vinegar is used so in this case the baking soda uh, in excess will stop if uh, all the vinegar is used up so go ahead and try this experiment with other condiments in your fridge and, and read the, the ingredients on the label because vinegar is the big one you need uh, for this experiment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.